Ken Arthur, Legend of the Sword, stars Charlie Hunnam and Jude Law. Arthur, a royal man by birth, must overthrow his uncle's kingdom. Guy Ritchie directed this movie. He's made some British gangster movies. Snatch was good. Rock and Roll was good, I suppose. He's made Robert Downey Jr.'s Sherlock Holmes movies. They were good. I guess the sequel was better. His previous movie was The Man from Uncle. I didn't like it. Sorry, guys. I'm not really familiar with the Ken Arthur legend. I haven't seen Sword in the Stone or Excalibur. I seen Clive Owen's Ken Arthur movie last week and I reviewed it yesterday. I wasn't really excited for this movie. The trailers were fine. I went in fresh. I didn't know what to expect. Ken Arthur, Legend of the Sword was a fun, stylish adventure. Charlie Hunnam was good. Arthur is a brave, cocky hustler. He never boasts for nothing. He doesn't want to be Ken. He rejects his destiny. In fact, there's a scene where he's overwhelmed by his destiny. You can tell by his body language. There's no dialogue. Yeah, he's superhuman when he uses Excalibur. Charlie is a TV star trying to become a movie star. He's known for Sons of Anarchy, which I haven't seen. My cousin Cam loves that show. Yeah, I'll give it a shot if and when it comes on Netflix. He was okay on Pacific Rim. Maybe it's pointless talking about Geneva. She's a mage. She controls animals. So yeah, she makes animals do her dirty work. She has a pet eagle. Just saying that. She and Arthur are love interests in the legend, but in this movie they're only friends. In fact, the relationship starts off prickly. Jude Law was good. Virgin is a ruthless tyrant. You really don't want to fuck with him. You don't mind if I cut off his ear, do you? Was he hammy? A little bit. I thought it would be hammy, period. Yeah, the action was good. It was very stylish. Guy Ritchie really used his unique style. Fast and slow motion. Or maybe I should say fast editing but not too fast. It was smooth. You could argue he went overboard a couple times. The climax was video gameish, but I still liked it. It was still awesome. It was unique for me. No, I haven't played Gods of War. I'm behind on the gaming culture, but whatever. Excalibur is a video game power-up, like the Master Sword or a Metal Hammer. Yeah, the characters were bland, but the actors were good, so it didn't matter much. You can tell they were having fun because this movie is lighthearted. Guy Ritchie always preferred plots over characters. Only Arthur and Vary Jean have personality, but then again, their actors have charisma. Maybe lots of people feel Charlie has no charisma whatsoever. This movie has some modern day dialogue, which I wasn't expecting. Vary Jean actually drops an F-bomb. Can you fucking do your job? This movie is a caper. It has some non-linear storytelling, flashbacks and flash forwards. There's a lighthearted scene in the trailer where Arthur and his compatriots or whoever are telling a guard about some hustle. There's a video game-like sequence where Arthur visits an island, the Badlands, and fights monsters. Arthur must go to the Badlands. Dude, he can't. It's suicide. The editing was jumbled, you know, non-linear. Some people were annoyed. I wasn't annoyed, but I agree normal editing would have been better. Maybe 80% normal. Kenar for Legend of the Sword gets a B. It's a fun, stylish adventure. It was way better than Clive Owen's Ken Arthur. Charlie Hunnam and Jewel were good. Have you seen Ken Arthur Legend of the Sword? Did you like it or hate it? Do you have a favorite Ken Arthur movie? As always, thanks for watching guys. Should sure appreciate it. Guy Ritchie's next movie, Aladdin, could be fun. He should make a science fiction movie. I'm not interested in Alien and Covenant or the Wimpy Kid reboot. If you're new to my channel, please consider subbing me. I review movies and trailers. I'll talk to you later. Alrighty then.